one of the most consistent requests that I've seen in over five years of being a member of the Call of the Wild community has been for AR platform weapons to be added. And finally, that is happening. And thanks to EW, we've got an opportunity to test them a little bit early. And I just thought the most appropriate start would be to head here to the shooting range on Hirschfelden and basically fire them all and see just how fast they can fire. So I'm not going to worry too much about accuracy here. I'm just going to spam click and see just how many rounds we can get out of this 308 in a short period of time. Now, it's interesting they don't give you a magazine size in the Hirschfeld range, like it's unlimited. Of course, the mag size on all these weapons is 5, but for the sake of getting to see all of them, we'll continue with the 223. You know, I feel the difference in the recoil. Like, already. Going from the 308 to the 223, I could feel like a lot more control. And with that, I mean, no scope. Not bad. It, I think that's 75 meters. I wonder with the scope, using that 22. I mean, that feels like we could be incredibly effective. So I don't want to spend too much time at the range. We are going to head out now and try them out on some live game. And I'm super excited to see that 308. Now, we're going to be bouncing around to a number of different maps today, but I thought Stillbridge Peaks and Pronghorn would be a pretty good start and a good test for the 308, as I said. I really want to kind of give that one a look, and I kind of think the best move here is to essentially just see how many of these Pronghorn we can get. We're about 150 out. I'm going to do my best to not care whether we're shooting males or females, and if we delete this zone, it'll be all good. I just want to see what this 308 is capable of. So. When we can kind of get centered on a pronghorn's chest area, we're going to take those shots. I don't know how many we actually got down. And of course, sometimes they're going to just stand around. Man, when you see that, though, like, I don't know how to describe it necessarily. There's, there's a difference between a drop shot for a weapon that's maybe a little underpowered, but a really accurate shot, say, like, a, a hard shot on, like, a red deer with a 270, versus just how quick these pronghorn are dropping from a 3-way hit that I can only imagine is not exactly hard. It's probably double lung or, or shots like that. This one is not dead yet. We'll maybe try to help that out. And I think for the sake of maybe not having this entire video be pronghorn, we'll go and see what we did. So we fired, if I can count this right, eight shots. That's a lot of hunting pressure. I don't know how many pronghorn we got, but it, it was most of those shots. Oh my goodness. All I can say is that Red Deer are in trouble over on Quattro Kalinas whenever we get to resume that grind. Three of them dropped in their tracks right here. I don't know if any of them, that was a buck there. By the way, we get to see the new medals. There's a silver right there. We shot that wonderful four, so we should get to see a gold. Silver again for that one. It was just starting to run away and still dropped. Let's see what we have up here further. There's one lane there. I think that's our four. So at minimum we have five because we have that doe that we have shot twice. There's another one laying there. That is a gold. That's actually kind of cool the way the metal almost unfolds like that. Decent penetration I would say. Now we know from the ammo stats that the 308 ammo is just a little bit better than 30 odd 6 ammo. Another level 4 drop shot there. It's, I mean, 204 meters. Not perfectly broadside so it's going through a bit more flesh than it would if it was straight broadside and it's pretty well through to the backside of that lung like it's not close to not being able to reach both lungs another one down there and if that's the one that we hit twice i think that is going to be it which would mean six pronghorn for eight shots that's not the female so seven pronghorn in eight shots and only because we took an eighth shot to help that one go down i am very confident that the female would have eventually gone down that is insane and we will try the 308 on Red Deer at the end here just to kind of see. There's the Nun Metal, by the way. Like, I want to see the the power on, say, like a normal lung shot compared to what we would see with the M1 and just kind of compare it. And what also will be really interesting is if a single shot from the 308, like, say, a flesh hit, can kill a Red Deer. Because if it can, that is really going to speed up their grind. But for now, we're actually staying on SRP. I chose this map not only for Pronghorn, but also for Turkey, we saw just how well we can hold this 22 uh, AR-15 steady. 
I think if we can find a group of turkeys drinking, it might be about as much carnage as the pronghorn were. I would say this will pretty much do, and this is in fact the light brown level 3 I've been mentioning on a number of occasions. You guys on the stream wanted me to shoot it, we actually couldn't find it that day. And I think this might be the perfect chance. I mean, obviously there is a new update here and nothing has changed in terms of the frequency of light brown showing up, so I'm not too convinced anything is going to change. I think it's time we go ahead and take it. So we'll start with him. There are a total of five. We've got five rounds. Let's see if we can get them all by the time we are done here. That was really close to missing that one shot. There's six, actually. Okay, when we hit five, hunting pressure is going to be ridiculous. I've got to say, like... The temptation to, to shoot everything in sight with these guns is absolutely there, and it may be a, I don't want to call it a requirement, but maybe a good practice to set up tripods anywhere that you intend to use these weapons. I think we just killed seven turkeys, so probably our record for the uh, shortest period of time to have, I think, 14 kills now in a video. Pretty sure everything dropped and dropped rather quickly, so we'll go ahead and clean up here. I mean, just look at this. That, in my opinion, that never could happen with the 22 Viren. The, I don't know what it is. I don't know that the 22 Viren had that much recoil. Maybe we never tried it. Maybe it's simply that, but it just seems that there's something different. Whether it's the, the rate of fire, it'd be interesting to compare. I truly don't know but we never did anything even close to this. And like I said, it, it could well have been just simply trying to avoid the hunting pressure. And because of the new weapons, it's kind of an excuse to go ahead and create it. But finally, this level three light brown that we've been seeing for, it feels like over a month. It is a diamond. There's the new diamond metal with a little diamond at the top. That's pretty neat. I'm not sure it could do with a little more Pop, I guess, might be a good description because it kind of re resembles the silver metal a little bit. It would be nice if there was something more to it. I kind of get it, though. I think. Because the game has moved towards great ones being more popular, I guess. So the, the old diamond metal was, like, fully filled in. I'm guessing the great one metal now will be. Hopefully that is something we can figure out sometime in the near future, but... I'm sure we'll do something with our light brown diamond there. Like I said, I, I'm not too convinced anything is going to be changed with that at this point. Uh, it's been here for quite some time. You guys wanted to see it shot on Monday's live stream, so why not take it out with a brand new weapon? Also, before I forget, we are going to be streaming over on Twitch with these new weapons in a little less than an hour now that we're into this video a little bit. 1 p.m. Eastern, we're going to be starting that stream. If you want to check that out, the link will be in the description or just twitch.tv slash flintergaming. But that is seven turkeys, and I think now time to switch maps. I wonder, I grabbed the wrong gun, but... It's tough to... When they're running around in circles, let's just put the scope back on. This is the 223, which would be legal for these guys. What? Oh, wait. No, it was the 308. Okay. I thought I grabbed the 223, which would have been insane if that was a drop shot. It was the more uh, appropriate weapon, I would call it. Bit of a misclick, but it resulted in a drop shot on a silver. I mean, that is insane. Liver double lung on something with that kind of fire rate when it's got that level of power, it's gonna be tough to top, I've gotta say. I feel like Axis Deer are the obvious animal to test the 223 on, and this time we'll actually use the 223, so it was a fairly easy choice to come to Parquet Fernando, and we're gonna try getting a little bit closer. Axis Deer are, of course, a class three, and the 223 starts at class two, and I just think maybe getting a bit closer is going to help us out. I didn't even realize some of those were up there, but let's just focus on the closer ones. They are going to spook a little more quickly than I'd like, but I think the closer range may help us. Now, I do expect... That shot might not have been that good. I do expect these shots to take some time to bring them down, even with a vital hit. But the question's going to be, can we bring them down with that 223 ammo reasonably quickly? And, I mean, we see that one running off with probably a vital hit. I'd say that also was a vital hit. I think they all are. Now, I would classify the 223 as underpowered for an Axis Deer, but 
I was considering maybe trying to find a pack of coyotes. I think they're more likely to spook so quickly that we wouldn't be able to get as many shots off as we did there. And at least in this video, I really wanted to test the capabilities of the ARs to bring down like a whole bunch of animals. And of course, again, we're deleting zones, tripods would be better, but for the sake of getting to test things out, I think it is worth the potential problems it may cause down the road. But looks like we got a minimum of four. Now that one shot was a bit far forward, so it may not have been the lung, but clearly at least four out of five were. So we'll keep count. There's one there, a silver. I think they all may have been silvers. I don't know that we shot any that were very big. One doe was just hanging out right there. So that's two and three right beside each other. We'll send Sir 12 off. Well, maybe we'll send Sir 12 off to track after this because that's the fourth and actually that is the fifth. So we got all the ones that we fired at. I, I'm pretty sure, minus the couple of misses with the 308 on that pronghorn with the open sight. The only shot that wasn't a kill shot was one that eventually would have been with a flesh hit had we just let that pronghorn run for a little bit longer. Even that was just into the bottom of that lung. So all lung shots, five shots, five kills for the 223 AR-15. And I'm not too sure I can show much more as far as just what these things are capable of in terms of bringing down a lot of animals. And clearly I think any species that fits into the animal classes for these weapons, these are going to be the new grinding weapons. And I had a feeling that would be the case from what we saw on EW streams and just generally what you would expect out of AR platform weapons, but my goodness, what we saw with the pronghorn and the turkeys and even the axis deer there, that has easily exceeded my expectations. But like I said, I want to go and test it on red deer. I really want to see just how good that 308 is going to be for grinding them. And there should be like a population reset and a population redistribution over on Quattro Colinas. So it's going to be intriguing to see exactly what happens with that grind. No way. A melanistic level 6 initial spawn next to a mythical. This grind is going to look so different. I've jumped around a little bit. This little tiny lake here has red deer everywhere. The top right though is just about devoid of red deer. I can't believe that thing is standing right there. Alright, so the difficult part here is actually going to be getting a shot off at the mythical. But again, I want to see how the 308 performs on the stag. So I'm going to try to heart shot this level six and then we'll figure out the mythical after that. I swear so far, it feels like animals drink for longer. Like, like th there's less times where they actually lift their head. Maybe next shots are going to be the new kind of meta almost. That or just alerting them. But in the past, like no doubt they'd have lifted their heads a couple of times by now. It's almost kind of like they're feeding, and I guess that is a new animation, let's call it, or, or a change to the animation. That does kind of require us to be at a much less advantageous position to shoot the mythical, but let's go ahead, try to sh shoot into the neck. We did not get it. All right. So I think we're going to get a long shot opportunity at it still. And hopefully we can get along there. That's a little bit alarming. I'm not sure, sure if it's the accuracy of the 308 or what exactly that was. But it's going to require a follow-up shot to get him down. Now he's nervous and alert. I don't like that he's kind of not giving us a shot opportunity with the way he's standing. This is not exactly going to plan, I'll say that. So I'm curious, not while he's alert, but if he starts to go back to nervous. I'm curious if the old 20 strat with the 22 AR actually works. He's not dropping so fast that I'm extremely worried. I mean, he's kind of just coming back. Maybe we take a more safe shot this time. I do see health starting to drop, so let's go ahead and take that shot. The mythical should be doable here as well. Hopefully that time it's into a lung. Looks like it must have been. He went down pretty quick. So that's something I do want to go and test before we're done. And we're basically going to wrap up here with these couple of red deer and with our melanistic. I want to know, because I thought that shot should have been good. I remember on stream, Jack Sevier talked about a little bit of like an inaccuracy issue using the open sights with the 308. 
And I wonder if that translates into the scope use as well. We did get all three of them. So we just shot five here. We're deleting zones at an unprecedented pace, but I think that'll be the last time we do that. And maybe not the smartest thing, starting out a fresh grind in a way, but then again, it's not like we're not going to be finding a bunch of new zones elsewhere, so it shouldn't be a huge deal. So more testing will need to be done to determine if a flesh it from the 308 brings down a stag. There is no way I was trying to find that out on a melanistic. See, the shot is to the right. I think that would make sense with what Jaxi was mentioning on the stream. So we'll tax that. We did still get our silver out of him. We'll go and pick up the rest of the stags. And then the last thing we're going to do is go back to the range on Hirschfeld. And I guess the last thing we do is go to the lodge. But we'll go to the range and see if there is a little bit of an inaccuracy with the 308 or with all of the ARs. So for our mythical, it was single lung. It's not like it's a problem to reach into the lung. And I think broadside we may be able to get double lung a 215. I guess that would be about what I'd expect from that rack. I thought he would have scored a little bit higher, but it's also not the troll level 9 rack. So now we've got two lane here and one that ran up the hill a little bit further. I don't know if we deleted... Yeah, we might have deleted the zone right in the middle there. That one was double lung liver stomach. No wonder it went down so quick. And the one beside it, which is kind of hiding a little bit better than I thought, was single lung and still kind of died in the same area. And then finally, the one that I thought we might have messed up, just kind of high in the left lung there. So clearly lung shots bring him down pretty quickly. Uh, I will eventually compare like quick kill on something the size of a stag with say the 30-06, the M1, the 303, but I feel fairly confident saying the 308 is more powerful than all of them. So let's switch again to Hirschfelden and try to figure out what the deal with the sights is. So I think 150 will be a decent test. We used the 308 since that's what we just had a potential issue with. I want to say we zoomed all the way in. That looks fine, maybe a bit right. If we can reset that so there's not so many shots in the way. Try it again. It doesn't seem to be problematic. I wonder if we took the shot zoomed out. Those all seem to be hitting basically exactly where we want. So it could well have been me. Now, the issue that I was talking about that was mentioned on stream was more with the open sights. I don't know if we'll be able to really tell at this range. It is off to the right side a bit. Nothing crazy though. I'm gonna say for the most part that must have been my fault then. It felt like we were on for that shot, but it could well have been the case that we were just a little bit too far to the right. So I actually feel good about that. I was worried that maybe there were some accuracy issues, but it seems that it is the uh, user of the weapon and not the weapon itself that's a little bit inaccurate. So I've been considering placing that light brown diamond turkey in this multi-mount for a long time. Like I said, I just wasn't convinced that it should work that way, but with another update here and clearly no changes, I think maybe it is just going to be like that. And if it was just sitting there, an opportunity to take a cool animal with a new weapon. And in fact, we got two of them today. We have to head to the second trophy lodge now to see our melanistic red deer. I want to say it is the same wreck as the piebald that we shot a couple of days ago. It looks to match. The piebald was 174.5, the mellow was 173.3. And yeah, go figure. One was an initial spawn, one has been there for a while, but a couple of nice kills with the new ARs. And like I said, we'll be streaming this soon. I don't think we're going to do Red Deer unless you guys want to see that. Uh, we can go through and try to find what else is out there on our Quattro. But I'm looking forward to using these weapons again and seeing what you guys have to say, both in the comments and in the stream chat here in just a little bit. But on that note, that is officially going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.